From the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Station Night. You know, we haven't seen the sunshine since Saturday. That's how long it's been. Several days of clouds and the last couple of nights very foggy. That will be no exception to tonight. We're continuing with foggy conditions and visibilities reduced in spots to less than a quarter mile. Plus, we have a few more showers expected overnight along with some pockets of drizzle and mist. Just very inconvenient for us. As you're getting out there tonight, if you have errands to run or getting kids to practice, just give yourself a few extra minutes and put extra distance between you and other drivers. It's 44 degrees now, at least we're above freezing, but winds are calm and our humidity is almost completely saturated. We're at 96%. There's a one degree difference between the dew point and the temperature right now here in the metro. With temperatures at this hour in the 40s all through eastern Oklahoma, we're not expecting temperatures to fall much at all tonight because we're so saturated, because we have clouds, and also we'll have a chance at a few more showers overnight tonight. So most of our showers tonight will actually be east of Highway 75 and maybe even a little heavier headed into about the 6, 7 o'clock hour tomorrow morning for our counties along the Oklahoma-Arkansas line. So Adair County down to LaFleur County, best chance of rain in the morning. Everywhere else it's fog and it's a little mist, a little drizzle. Temperatures, again, going really nowhere tonight. We're going to be in the upper 30s, low 40s, holding steady. As we go into tomorrow, there's a small window that we're hoping for a few rays of sunshine. I, I hope we get some. Clouds are very stubborn, especially with this air, this pattern that we're in. And where we do maybe see a little sun, we'll make it into the low 50s, even mid 50s, southeast Oklahoma. But where the clouds hold, they'll be in the upper 40s for temperatures. Now, clouds will fill back in tomorrow night, and we may see more fog for tomorrow night, early Friday morning. Temperatures will be in the 30s, low 40s, and there may even be a few pockets of mist and drizzle. But a storm system coming through Friday afternoon and Friday night will bring a threat for some heavier rain and some heavier thunderstorms. Severe risk is low. We shouldn't see any severe thunderstorms, but we may see heavy enough rain that some flood prone spots, some low lying spots because we're so saturated may have a little trouble for Friday evening into Friday night. Highs on Friday will still make it to the 50s and even some low 60s. And then the heavier rains will come through during, I'd say, starting up in the afternoon. More likely, though, especially here in Tulsa in the evening and overnight. There's some cold air that's being drawn in on the backside of the system. I don't think it will impact us in terms of winter weather. Any issues with that will stay up in Kansas or far north central Oklahoma, but in our new weather data, we will monitor it closely. We'll have showers around still for Saturday morning, upper 30s, low 40s to start your Saturday off. And because of that colder air wrapping in on the backside of the system, Friday or Saturday afternoon, highs are only going to be in the mid 40s, maybe a little warmer down the southeast, but the winds on Saturday be out of the north gusting about 25 miles per hour. Our rain and timeline here is we're starting with fog and drizzle of course tonight with a few showers, especially east of Tulsa. Then for Thursday night, early Friday, it's probably another round of fog and drizzle. We have our storm chances Friday afternoon, Friday night, and then on Saturday, showers to start shifting that east as we go through our Saturday, but it may be a little slower to clear, so we could have rain even here in Tulsa through Saturday at lunchtime. Tomorrow, 39 with fog to start, 46 by the noon hour. That'll start the window where we may see a few rays of sunshine. I'm very hopeful, I'm not gonna hold my breath, but I'm hopeful that we'll see some sun tomorrow, and if we don't, well, Sunday, here we go. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, full on sunshine, highs in the 60s, good warm up next week. That pendulum really switched for us from freezing cold to warmer than normal next week, and I'm here for it. I'm Every not season in one week, for the most part, you know it? So I thought you could hold your breath like I am. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I'm going to be fine now. She said, don't hold your breath. I'm like, no, I want any, anything for 60s in this temperature wise. <laughs>